All right, I think we're working. Hey, hi everybody. I'm simulcasting today, so I'll be looking back and forth, uh, just in case you're wondering. I'm gonna give it a few minutes. Um, hopefully this location in my house works. I don't know, sometimes I have bad reception in my kitchen, but we're gonna see. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm gonna give it a minute, I'm gonna give it a minute, I'm gonna give it a minute. All right, as you guys are tuning on, um, say hello, drop in the comment section hello. I'm gonna give it a few minutes because I'm, I'm going live and I am over here on, on my personal page. If you're on my personal page, can you just like say hello, give a little shout out? I don't know if I have the comments on. I have no clue, um, but I'm gonna keep rolling because I don't wanna drag this live out. So I'm simulcasting between um, uh, my laptop and my cell phone. So anyways, hello guys, how are you? I did not fall off the face of the earth. I was sick. God, you guys, seriously, I hate being sick. Does anybody else hate being sick? Um, I went to the doctor, I went to emergency care twice, thought I had strep throat. Um, it turned out I didn't have strep throat, but then I went back again because I'm like, I think I have strep throat. And they're like, you don't have strep throat, you have a sinus infection. And I'm like, oh my God. Anyways, you know, eight days later, here I am. Um, I am alive. I'm feeling better. Thank you to all like, people messaging me saying that they hoped I felt better. Um, thank you so much. Appreciate it. So... Um, I wanted to hop on today, number one, uh, for a selfish reason, because I get energy from you guys, and so <laughs> I am on here because I need that energy, because I've been just, ugh, just, you know, you guys, like, I've been in sickville. All right, but the second thing is, I want to share with you guys three, three, I feel like, critical steps to when it comes to marketing on social media, Okay. And so I have a bunch of notes here around me. Um, I've been working on this. Like it's never, I, I feel like I always, like I'll have an idea of what I want to talk about for a Facebook Live, but then I always want to go back and like add more to it. Do you guys ever feel that way? And so then you're like stuck and then you're looking at the time and you're like, oh crap, I'm supposed to be going live because this is when I told people I was going live. Like it's crazy. Anyways, um, Anyways, as you, you're tuning in, um, make sure you're saying hello. And like I said, I'm looking back and forth if you're just hopping on. And if you're on uh, the replay, put hashtag replay. If you're new to who I am, I'm the founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com. I help entrepreneurs really, I, I, I teach them how to brand, how to market themselves online in an authentic way. That's a key word. And then after the marketing, like how do you monetize off that? Because that's always the next question I get is, okay, well then how do I... How do I get them into my business or how do I get them as a customer, as a client? So I have run um, four successful businesses between coaching, um, digital publishing, meaning I have my own info products um, I've created. I've been doing, um, I sell those through typically sales funnels. And then um, I have a network marketing business, um, a multiple six figure earner in network marketing, and what else do I do? Um, oh, I've I also made over six figures in the affiliate marketing space. And so I hear a lot of people um, at times talk about, you know, what is marketing? Marketing really is just promoting or selling uh, your product or service, right? But wouldn't it be cool if you could get like people to help you do that? Meaning like you're following to like share your content, right? So I primarily, you guys, and thank you for all the hearts and the thumbs up, whoever's doing that, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you guys, share this out because I'm gonna give like a ton of freaking value and I hope you guys are taking notes and if you're not taking notes, if you're driving, please don't take notes. <laughs> Go back and watch the replay when I'm done, okay? Because I'm gonna like give you guys all the goods, all right? So um, what if you can encourage others to help you like share your message, right? So. I hear people sometimes um, say, well, I'm hearing crickets on my social media channel. Well, first of all, I want you to understand that I primarily stick to Facebook, okay? I know Instagram is like this up and coming thing. I get that Pinterest is really cool because it's a search engine. I understand like YouTube is like taking over TV. You guys, I get all that. But honestly, I went down this rabbit hole recently where I was like looking at all the different social media channels and 
I have decided that I there's billions of people on Facebook, okay, billions. So for my target audience, Facebook is where I need to be and want to be. Um, I don't. I also have a YouTube channel, but I don't optimize it. I don't SEO, um, which if you guys don't know what that is, don't worry. It's search search engine optimization. Like I would have to hire uh, a video editor. I need to hire. I would have to hire a video editor and then somebody that can rank me through Google. Okay, um, it's a lot, and I don't have time to learn SEO right now, so I don't do it. All right. Um, I've been scattered. Have any of you guys ever been scattered in your business and you're trying to like just figure out this whole social media thing? Like there's got to be different posts for Instagram. Like they need to outlay differently. They have to be these vibrant photos. Like you guys, I don't have enough freaking hours in my day to learn all of this stuff. I am a mom. I, I'm like the CEO of our household. I have work that needs to be done. I have closets that need to be clean and I have businesses that need to be ran. So the last thing I need to do is figure out Instagram. So I'm sorry, this is going to be all about Facebook. Okay. All right. So number one, step number one that you need to know is how to get people talking about you. So how to connect. Okay. This is very simple. How to connect. Now there's three steps in how to connect. All right. So um, because this is the question, how do I get more people to respond to me on social media? Like I get it, right? It's kind of like, I don't know if you ever went on a date. I don't know if you guys ever dated back in the day. I don't know how many pe people are married or single here. Maybe you're still single and you go on a blind date and then like they never show up, right? Like it's kind of like that sucks. And so it's the same thing with social media. <laughs> like you put posts out there and it's freaking crickets, <laughs> right? So you guys, listen, there should not be any compar comparison whatsoever between your channel and somebody else's channel, number one. Um, everyone has to start somewhere. Like I, I might get like more interaction now or I might have a bigger following now, but you guys, like I built that up, right? Like social media, because I only focused on Facebook, almost became like a second job for me and I don't want it to become a second job for you. So how do you connect? Well, step one is ask questions. Okay. So just like if you were sitting on and real quick, before I go further, you guys listen to me. I have my earbuds, but I didn't put them in. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Can you just say, I can hear you just so I know uh, if you guys got me. All right. So here's the thing. Um, I I'm getting hearts. Thank you. But I don't know if you guys could hear me. The, Okay, I'm just going to keep going because I know there's a delay in Facebook. All right, so step one is ask questions and listen. Thank you, Iwana. I want. I hope I didn't butch up your name, Iwana. Thank you. All right, so um, ask questions and listen. So think of it this way because sometimes we want to overthink it. You guys, social media, even though we're sitting behind a screen, it's still the same thing. Like there's still a person with a heartbeat on the other side, Right? So if you were sitting on a train coming home from your job and you were sitting next to somebody um, that you wanted to strike up a conversation with, let's just say you're, you're bored, you want to meet this person next to you, you know, how would you make that happen? How would you make that happen? Right? You would start by asking them a question. You guys, this is how I, I've always done this. Like even before I was in network marketing, I've been in network marketing for six years. I've always, if I got like nervous in a certain situation, like, okay, so let me, okay, example, airplanes, you guys, I hate flying. And those that follow me know, like I travel like crazy. So they're always like, Julie, how do you hate flying? You're like always traveling. You're always on a plane. You guys, it's a control thing. I know I need some therapy. I just, I am not in control of that plane. And I freak out, especially when I don't fly with my husband or my kids and I'm like by myself, right? I'm like thinking of our will. I'm like thinking if the plane's crashing, you guys, it's awful. So what is the number one thing I do? I am going to strike up conversation with the person next to me, right? Because if you strike up the conversation with the person next to you, the first thing you're going to do is ask the question. And what do you think my very first question is when I'm on a plane asking some somebody the question? What do you think the very first question is? The very first question is, 
are you from Chicago or are you from Vegas or, you know, where you're flying to or are you from California or are you from Florida? Like one of the destination, whatever destination we're flying to, I ask them, are you from Chicago or are you, you know, are you flying home? It is such an amazing icebreaker. And then we quickly get to the point that I don't like to fly because I don't want to freak them out. You guys, it's so funny. <laughs> Listen, by the end of that freaking flight, I exchange numbers. We are friends. I know what they do. I know the names of their children. I'm already a couple vodkas in, vodka and sodas in, and they're drinking with me because I'm like buying them a cocktail too. I am like BFFs with these people. All right. So I don't treat social media any different, you guys. I don't. I, I treat it the same way. All right. So ask questions and listen. But don't be overbearing with questions, you guys. That is just number one, okay? That's the one step in how to connect. Now I'm going to bring you to step two. And by the way, if you share this out, put share in the comment section because I am going to give away a free 30-minute coaching session with you guys, I charge $1,000 an hour. I'm not saying that to like boast or brag, but I'm just saying that that's what I do. I'm going to give you 30 minutes for free, no strings attached, if you share this out. Because that's how important I believe like social media is, and I want to help these people out there, okay? So just share. Share or tag. And if you tag, put tag friend in the comment section, okay? Share or tag. Um, I will like literally announce the winner tomorrow, Okay? All right, it's good. you got to be like on today's, uh, you got to be live. You got to be here with me or on the replay today to qualify for this, okay? All right, step two. All right, step two is attract and repel, okay? Um, so, well, let, let me go back. Let me go back. I'm sorry. Let me go back to ask questions and listen. So, let's just, I'm going to put this out there. If you're a florist, um, let's just say you're a florist. I want you to take a picture of a photo of one of your centerpieces and because this is, I'm going to relay this to online, okay? So I told you about asking questions if you're on a train or plane, whatever. Online, what you can do is if you're a florist, take a picture of one of your centerpieces that maybe you did at a wedding or whatever, a beautiful centerpiece. You put that picture out there on your social media channel. And what you can say is after you're showcasing, you know, you're showcasing your favorite flower and explaining why it's your favorite flower. And then you can ask your followers, your audience, what is their favorite flower and why? What does it mean to that? Okay, if you're a life coach, all right, um, you can ask your followers what their greatest fear is, okay? So to boost replies, you can state like um, um, that, that one lucky um, a follower will get one of your mini courses or what have you. But ask them like what their greatest fear is and why. Always go a step further. So if you ask the question like what is your greatest fear? So sometimes I'll do this. I'll ask one question, but then when they respond, I'll go back and I'll reply to their response and I say, well, you know, that's a good one or I could totally resonate with you. Why is this such a fear for you? Why is it a fear for you to do a Facebook Live? Like what what is what is the vibe around that that's happening for you, right? So just take it a step further. All right. So number two, um, attract and repel. This is important because you guys, we, you're either going to, people are going to love you or you're going to drive them crazy. And you don't need those people to follow you. You don't want those people. So it's like sift, sort, and qualify who is allowed to be your friend on Facebook. Hello, right? So, um, the fact of the matter is, is that you 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 want to be okay um, without having this huge following because just because someone has a following of like a hundred thousand followers or a million followers, it doesn't mean that they're engaged, you guys. Okay, so don't be like like what's wrong with me? No, you want the right people following you. So let me give you an example. So. One thing I've done, now Lola is new to our family, okay? But you guys, if you follow me again, you know I love animals. And I have had, you know, we've had dogs. Now, we lost Harley in December, so I'm going to use Harley, though, as an example. For, we had Harley for nine years, okay? And we would, <laughs> we would always put a Halloween costume on Harley, okay? Um, so I would take a picture of her and I would put out like a funny post of her Halloween costume and I would say, okay, who, are, who else is out there? Who are the other weirdos, pet weirdos that love dressing up their pets, right? Or maybe like 
I'll take a picture of Harley when we were celebrating Harley's birthday and um like you guys it's ridiculous like we'll get and we'll do the same thing you guys we're gonna do the same thing with Lola except this is Lola's first year so we haven't hit her October yet she's gonna be one in November so November 22nd when it's Lola's birthday we will be the freaks on social media going crazy about our dog's birthday so we're gonna post like I will post Lola sitting at the kitchen table with her freaking birthday cake with probably bows in her hair like I'm not even joking with presents around her because we will get her presents so listen that's cool because it's my social media channel and I'm going to attract the, the animal lovers to me it's you know like it that that's okay and I'm going to repel the ones that are like whoo she's lost her mind she's lost her mind <laughs> so Okay. All right. Um, another one is, all right, I'm going to use me as an example again. So, um, I'm into healthy living. You guys, I get it. Like everything in moderation, love it. Okay. But I would maybe like post, um, so cookies are really big in our house. Our kids love cookies. Okay. And so ever since I was younger, I love Oreo cookies. Like it's just my thing. And even yourself, if you love an Oreo, do you like the chocolate or do you like the white filling? Can you just drop that in the comments? Because this is important stuff. Because I have an argument with my freaking family all the time. And then I will tell you what my favorite is. Anyways, so I would post an Oreo, right? And then I'd have a cup of orange juice there. And I would say, as most people are enjoying their Oreo cookies with milk, I actually enjoy it with orange juice instead. All right, so tell me how you feel about that. And like, you'll be surprised. Oh my gosh, people are so freaking opinionated. <laughs> it would blow up. Like, simple things like that just to attract and repel the right people and the wrong people. So I talked about this before with your social media. You want to write a list of stuff that like you are passionate about. So for me, it's travel, my kids, my husband, my dog, my family, my um, my business, um, marketing, sales, mindset. Um, I mean, uh, health, fitness, yoga, um, trying to cook, trying to cook, um, maybe ma <laughs> making dinner with. I usually use five ingredients or less. Like you guys, I need easy recipes, right? Um, let's see, personal development, what else? Like just um, life in general, right? Whatever, I'm sure I have a lot. I have like a list of stuff I like to talk about. So I post about that and then randomly I'll throw in like business posts, right? But I have so much engagement for my other posts. I posted a picture of Lola last week. I took a picture of her and I posted it and um, you can go to my personal profile and check it out. Um, I just posted a picture of her and then at the end I said, Hey, I'd love to see your dog. Your, I didn't say just dogs. I said, I'd love to see your, 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 your co-business partners or your pets too. When you're working at home, drop a picture below. And you guys, I had a hundred, I think it was like, a, I don't know, 140 comments. Like it was crazy because people love to display their pets. And I am like a pet junkie. Like I love animals okay all right sorry went on a tangent about that but attract and repel okay and then uh step step three is engagement engage and interact okay um so how do you do that well first of all um it's gonna be low sometimes right so when people do respond you want to make sure to respond and interact with your posts immediately okay um so let's say, let me think. Um, uh, what's an example? So if your social media, let okay, if your social media is kind of dead right now, what you can do, and I'm not like you guys, I'm not, I'll, I'll be honest, I haven't done this often. Um, back in the day, I probably didn't know about it, but now we talk about it more and more. But I'm going to tread lightly on this. Okay, so let's say you're a photographer, you're a florist, or you're like a fitness expert, what have you. If you're not getting um, a lot of social media engagement, what you could do is make a list 
of where your people are hanging out on social media. Now, this is going to bring you into groups. And let me be like extremely cautious when I say this. Um, this is not to find a way to get business, okay? We don't go to groups to find a way to get business, okay? What I'm proposing is that you're going to genuinely offer value, offer your services, offer your help, and build relationships, like true relationships. So you could pull it outside of the group, okay? Now, if you are a photographer for family or children, what you could do is go into a family chat room or a, like a parenting group um, and share tips and advice for family portraits, right? Um, maybe what to wear, um, the best locations to go to to get your photos done, like the time of day, right? Like you're genuinely just teaching them and giving them advice, right? Um, same thing uh, if you're a florist, like for weddings, right? Um, you're going to go into chat rooms on social media or into like groups, like bride-to-be groups, what have you, and answer questions for the brides, okay? So it's really that simple and just find that authentic way to interact with them, you guys. So it's not going into groups to necessarily um, poach and probe them, absolutely not. Like, yeah, Catherine, you like that? You like that shit, girl? Oh, oh sorry. Catherine said, I see your wine rack, LOL. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear, guys. Um, but yeah, Catherine, can you, we, I got the fridge down here too, girl. I got the fridge. It's loaded with champagne and wine. All right. Sorry, off base. I saw something about wine and <laughs> I got sidetracked. Okay. Um, thank you for sharing, guys. I appreciate it. That's right. If you're just tuning in, you share it, right? Share, tag a friend, 30 minute coaching call with yours truly, truly. You will get raffled off for. And I will announce the winner. I always announce the winner, you guys, when I do this. All right. So, um, engage and interact. That's how you do it. If you're not getting engagement on your page, you go into a group. Sorry, today's training is going to be longer, but this is what you get when I've been like absent for like weeks. All right. So number two, you guys, that was just step number one. I promise you number two and number three are much faster. So just hang with me a few more minutes. Um, number two, you want to find the people who you want to talk to period. Once you find the people you want to talk to, you have to figure out what are they struggling with? What are the challenges that they're facing? Um, is there a challenge um, like how to lose weight? Is it how to get organized? Is it stress management? Is it uh, DIY, do-it-yourself wedding decor that they're trying to learn? Is it how to plan affordable travel? Um, is it how to tone their body, right, without killing themselves at the gym? Is it quick and healthy recipes? Amen to that. Hello, I need that person. Um, is it self-confidence? Is it relationship advice? Um, is it fashion tips, beauty tips, makeup tips? Is it um, fantasy football tips? <laughs> is it photography tips? Um, you know, is it um, how to create a budget? Like teaching people how to take control of their finances, especially for entrepreneurs that are making money and just like literally, poof, it's gone in a second. Like investment opportunities. What is it that your market is struggling with? You have to know this. Okay, once you find out, once you go through that step, you want to write down the top three challenges. And the way you can do this is once you have a clear understanding of who the market is, you could go to Google and you can literally type in what are the top three things that these people are struggling with? What are the top things? top three things that these people are having challenges with and just start there. And then you know what type of content that you could disperse on your social media channel. So after you do that, you then want to list out three pieces of content that you can share that week with them, whether it's a blog post, whether it's a, you're doing podcasts, whether it's um, doing a Facebook live. Okay. But it has to be um, relevant for your audience. And so that's how you know what to post, you guys. All right? So that is your who. So your, your number one is figuring out your how. And the how had three steps in it, right? Um, ask the questions and listen. 
attract and repel on social media and engage with your audience. Then the second was who, who do you want to attract to you? Figuring out what they're struggling with, listing out those top three challenges, and then, um, then figuring out your three pieces of content you want to disperse for that week. Okay. I always do in threes. All right. Then the final and the last step, okay, is what to do to boost that engagement, right? So now that you have your how and your who, what do you do to boost the engagement? So I have a little cheat sheet here I'm going to share with you guys. Okay, so one of the things that I have done um, to help boost engagement and to get more organized um, because God knows as a mompreneur, we need organization, guys, um, is to create a weekly list of uh, activities, okay? Like posting, posting activities, all right? So like I said, I'm on Facebook. So I might um, review my fan page newsfeed, all right? I might go to my fan page and review. Maybe I, I took a poll that week or I asked a certain question that week, okay? And then that will help me to create some content, okay? Um, another thing is to respond to notifications and to messages. To always respond to posts, but not just responding and saying, oh, great. Like I told you, if you're going to say, hey, what's your greatest fear? Asking one question at a time. When they give you that, when they give you that information, you're going back and you're saying, okay, I could totally relate or that's, that's great, but why do you think this is happening? Why do you think this is coming up for you, okay? Um, and then uh, comment, comment on your updates um, of three other maybe fan pages that you follow, okay, for your audience. Um, tag another fan page possibly that provides helpful and interesting, relevant information for your audience. Or you could share um, a piece of content from somebody else. Maybe um, you heard a really good podcast and it's very helpful. Even though it's not your podcast, you guys, you're still offering up value. And I think that that's where people get hung up because they're like, mm, this isn't my own content. Who cares? Like that podcast could turn around and maybe something in that podcast could strike somebody right in between the eyes. And it was something that they've been hearing, but it, they heard it different from that person. And because you found it very valuable, you're now sharing it with your people. So guess what? They're going to look to you to be like the go-to person. Like, oh my God, that was awesome. What Julie shared, or thank you for sharing that podcast. It really resonated with me. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. Um, share two to three updates um, a day. I, I think on pay, Facebook, it's really good to post at, at least two to three times a day, you guys. Um, you can link in, like I said, the, the um, a podcast, a blog post, a video tutorial. Not all the information needs to come from you, okay? Um, yeah, if you want to do a couple Facebook Lives a week, I definitely recommend that to boost up your engagement as well. But it doesn't always mean it has to come for you. You guys, I hope you guys are finding value in all of this. I haven't even asked you. But if you are, drop me a heart in the comments. Let me know. All right. So that's like Facebook, right? Um, and then always making sure like a day I probably friend three new people a day. So you know how Facebook has like um, the friend, um, the friends that you might know or people that you, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like they give you like suggestions for friends. I will go through the suggestion for friends. I will actually go to the person's wall and there's a couple things I look for. First of all, I look at what they do. Second of all, I look and if they're in my, in my network marketing company, most likely, um, I might friend them. I might not, you guys, I'm just being honest. All right, unless they're really already a close friend. Um, but I look to see what they do. Um, I look to see what friends we have in common. And then I'll go through some of their posts and I'll just check it out. Um, if I decide to friend them, I friend them and I send them a message. And I'd say, hey, Jamie, it's, um, you know, I just sent you a friend request. It's great to connect with you. I really love the vibe of your page or of your wall, we have some mutual friends in common, um, you know, what do you do, right? So it's a really simple message to let them know, like I'm not some creepo, like I legit <laughs> want to connect with them. And there's no alternative motive, okay? Like there's no ulterior motive in that. 
all right? Um, just a couple suggestions I have um, here. If you're on Instagram, I am, but I, I told you I don't want to get sidetracked. But anyways, real quick, uh, post one photo a day, which I typically do on Instagram. Um, I use uh, something called Buffer. And Buffer, I connect to my fan page, so it takes my post from my fan page, not my videos, just my post, and will cross post over to, I believe, Instagram and I believe Twitter. I don't know, um, but it's called Buffer. Um, I don't, I don't know if you guys could use it on um, your personal profiles. I'm not sure I, my my VA uses it, but I can find out if you guys are interested. Okay, Instagram post one photo a day. Tag and mention subjects in the photo. Use appropriate hashtags, of course. If you guys don't know what hashtags to use, you could Google hashtags to use on Instagram for X niche or, you know, like for your niche, like your profession, what you're in. You can actually Google this. Um, so in case you're ever like, what hashtags do I use? Geotag the location when applicable. I don't even know what the hell that means. Um, like I'm assuming where you're at. <laughs> This is so funny. I, guys, I don't know everything about all social media platforms. Okay. Uh, respond to comments, common sense, guys. And then comment on five followers' posts. Like your followers' photos. Yada, 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 yada. Like I said, I focus more on Facebook. You focus where you feel like you need to focus. I feel like Instagram is a whole different um, beast. But um, that is what I do. So there you guys have it. Okay. How to connect. Um, who do you want to talk to? and how to like what to do to boost your engagement you guys i hope you found this helpful i apologize i wasn't able to get through questions i will go back through the questions and comments um like i said if you found value please just put value in the comments if um you share like i said today only even if you're on the replay and you put share and tag um and i i will check it um, I will raffle off tomorrow a 30 minute coaching session um, with me. Okay. So, uh, anyways, you guys, be blessed. Have fun. Um, oh, gosh, I am late for my own coaching call. Oh, God, I'm five minutes late. I feel very bad. Um, anyways, it's a potential coaching client, so I have to run. All right, guys, be blessed. Mwah. Thanks for hanging, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye. Got to turn one off at a time. Okay.